Hi guys, and welcome back to Journey with Sonia. I hope everybody is doing well. Alhamdulillah, I am doing fine. As promised, this video is going to be part two of today's upload. I'm going to make some ground chicken. So in my native language, or do we call that kima? So I'm going to make some kima with some baby potatoes or alu as we call them in my native language or do. Okay, so these are the baby potatoes that I used. What I did this morning is I boiled them for about 20 minutes, set a timer on my Apple Watch and boil them. It, they taste better if you boil them, if you pre-boil the potatoes. So basically what I did is I boiled them for about 20 minutes, like I said, put them in cold water in a dish, went to work, came back and just peeled off the skin and guys, it was so easy to peel off the skin. So some other ingredients you're going to need is you're going to need some onion and tomato. There is tomato under there. You're going to need your ground meat, ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef, whatever you want to use. I'm using chicken. You're going to need a large pot with some oil so let's get started i'm using vegetable oil you guys can use whatever oil you like okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our onion and tomato pop it into the pot or sauce as we call it in English. So this creates a little bit of sauce. So you need that sauce. And you want the onions and tomato to be light brown but not burnt. Let me grab a spoon and I'll show you guys. This is a very simple dish but it is one of my favorite because basically you cannot screw this dish up. I love this dish. I would eat this dish every day. Now this dish would go great with anything. If you have bread, which we call naan. So if you have some naan lying around, some pita bread, some rice. I'm gonna do some cauliflower rice, but not everybody likes cauliflower rice. My mom, per se, doesn't like cauliflower rice. She does like it. It's a very acquired taste. So after this, I will make some white rice for her. Now, while this is going, you want to create that sauce again. So you so you don't want to burn this. We're going to add a little bit of salt and some garlic to this. Because our meat is already seasoned, this meat has masala in it. The butchers sometimes, if you go to Pakistani butchers, they have the meat already seasoned. So my mom already buys the meat already seasoned. So which makes my job when I go to cook it a lot easier. I do do most of the cooking in my family. So that makes my job 100% a lot easier. So let's grab the garlic and the salt.
This is the brand of garlic powder that I use. Simple from Dollar Tree. Not too much, not too little. I eyeball it now. I never measured the garlic because for me, the more garlic flavor, the better. I love to put garlic in my food. Now, be careful with the salt because, again, this is masala, spiced quinoa. So, I'm going to add about half teaspoon. But you can add more if you like. Last thing I'm going to add is some. Black seed powder, which is sona, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that. There we go. Now the onions and tomato will get a chance to cook in the stew in the quinoa as well. So you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to burn it because nobody likes the flavor of burnt onions and tomato in the cooking. Look at that, guys. That color is perfect. what we're going to do is we're going to lower the heat a little bit and we're going to add in our ground chicken just take it and flop it in Now you might have to break this up a little bit. You have to break it up. Because if you don't break it up, it will cook in one big clump. And we don't want that. We want it to be cooked in a nice little, like a uh, ground meat. So we want it to be ground up. These little pieces. And because this is masala kima, it doesn't take that long to cook. But because this schema has spice in it, it doesn't take that long to cook. So it cooks in about a couple of minutes. This is how we're looking. Now coming off the quinoa. Oh my goodness, it smells, it smells so good. Brings me back home to Pakistan. It smells. I'm just breaking it up with a spoon. Very easy to break up once it starts cooking. Because nobody likes big chunks of meat. At least my family and I, we don't like big chunks. So we uh, break it up as much to your liking. Next 
thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our potatoes. So we're just gonna nestle in our potatoes. And because these are baby potatoes, and these are already cooked, they're not gonna take that long to cook because you pre-boil them. So if you didn't have the time to pre-boil your potatoes, I would highly recommend that you, you can do the same process. You just need to add a little bit of water to the potatoes when you add in the meat. That is if you didn't pre-boil them. Mine are pre-boiled, so they should be good. Let me give this one last big stir. And look at that, guys. We should give it one minute. <clears throat> look at that guys this is what you want you want the chicken and the potatoes to be mixed well now for garnish you can do whatever you like you can do garlic you can do ginger if you have ginger fresh ginger that is not the powdered stuff fresh ginger if you have some coriander lying around or dania you can do that or my mom's favorite is jalapeno so you can dice up a jalapeno put that on top put one on top just for color just taste i usually dice up my jalapeno is pretty small and you like to let the potato and the quima cook together a little bit because that gives the potatoes a chance to pick up some of the masala. So some of the spice that you put on the quinoa to give the potatoes a chance to pick some of that up. While we're doing that, while that's cooking, let's put a lid on it and then let's slice up our jalapeno. One last look before I put on the lid. 